hello if you could subscribe or leave a like or leave a comment i'd appreciate it very much thank you very much for watching so i'm on the 7 8 40 now um notice over harvest the pillar there inside around it was starting to rust just that much where the rubber mat goes against it so i've lifted the mat and given that well sanded it and coat paint and so a bit rusty around the step there and a bit behind the that um, this channel also did a little bot bottoms of doors to get a bit off and gone right uh, under uh coat of red oxide and coat of black now when it's dried so um, that's done now just to um preserve it when i didn't go any more down as just a brush i was using and so it's just where it's standing rust and just to um, keep it good then so while the mat is peeled back i'll peel that little rubber bit back and there's another bolt there for the hand throttle for the tension on it so there's a spring on the pump and you need that certain tension to hold it on but uh, it's gone slack and the pump is pushing it back then so you can't you have to put jam it to uh, have it hold 540 on. so uh, i've got a new nut now i usually tighten it up but i've got a new nut now i'm going to change it out so it's um right then so we'll uh, go at, at that now so here's all that um it's just worn out the locking bit. So it's supposed to be like a pinch there, but it's worn thread out. I put an eye lock now. So um got a sort of lie on the cab floor. The nut is just here. And the bolt is up behind here, behind the controls here. So we take the rubber off and hold this back. So I've got a ratchet spanner, so it makes it a bit easier, but um yeah, I'm basically laid on the cab floor here uh, on my side sort of thing <laughs> trying to do it so uh, not the best place really so i usually tighten up say once every two years but uh, this time i'm gonna change the nut and it'll be it'll be fine now <laughs> so uh, no need to tighten again so um yeah i'll get out now so while on the road uh, branch hit my mirror and knocked it clean off a uh, hinge there in a little um, Swivel in. See there? So, uh, and I smashed it up and um, can only buy him pole, so I bought a new one. Comes with a new end piece as well, it'll keep it spare. See the little square piece there? Square there. It fits into the square on the arm, I'll show now. You see the square is there and you can actually change it. Comes with uh, that, that new piece as well, probably used to, maybe these break as well there, but. Uh, it looks alright and I uh, won't actually bother to change it. Okay. New mirror for the TSA as well, uh, New Holland. It looks exactly like the 740 one and the same sort of size. But see the fitting there? The 740 had a square plug with that, um, like elbow coming out of it, you know, came with it then. This is a sort of ribbed fitting to go on the mirror arms. So that's the actual difference. It looked exactly the same. More expensive, but I wondered why. So that's why really. Okay. So I'm uh, just changing the, the ignition switch as well. Uh, that stopped working. The old one I taped the end up. Well, I had to change it when I bought the tractor. So I taped up any wire showing. So I need to do the new one again, but uh, I'll leave it like that so I know which one's which. So uh, that project bail grab I had before, um, I've actually sold it to a friend and. Um, he had the pin and cone for the mat pro sort of thing. So I'm just welding brackets on on now then. So I'll um, probably go around with the grinder a bit and uh, give a coat of paint down and coat the dioxide in. Some uh, other projects there. So uh, that's her done. We've um, finished welding and I gave her a coat of paint, you know, uh, where the old brackets were as well and, you know, each side there. So the brackets quite, fit quite tidy on this uh, tools frame then. Just nice, you know, just a nice height and nice width, really. So uh, that's it, really. Thank you for watching, and uh, that's it from me for now, then.